of you may not realise that the fines that are being put against some of us will bankrupt us. What we're looking at is families who are in very desperate straits. And there's only one way to beat this. We want those people that were responsible for putting those lights back and putting our jobs in jeopardy, we want those people to take those lights off. Make no mistake about it, we want those lights off. And we want them off as soon as possible. And then we will have our jobs back. Thank you. And if people are blind to think that under this present legislation that the only way to beat it is head on, is a mug. It's not a revolution we're in. I'm not suggesting a revolutionary situation. It's very far from it. It's a time where the economy is down, where people have fear, and where that fear is legitimate. I'm the mother of a sequence worker. I'm a protester. We've got to let the people in the streets who aren't strong unions, who can't see the problem, We've got to make it known, and the only way is to stand up and be shouted, and every one of your members has got to do that. I've picketed daily from day one, and I've pledged to picket daily till he's dead. <laughs> now, I've picketed too. Come on, mate. We're going to have a day off, mate. You have a decent card, mate. Mr. Anthony, you are committing an offence against Section 5 of electricity, continuity of supply, and liable to be arrested in such respect. Why were you arrested? I haven't been told, but well, I've been arrested yet. I suppose I'll find out sometime in the future. How do you feel about the clergyman joining in the protest today? Oh, I think it's magnificent. It really shows the concern of, uh, of people uh, within Queensland and right throughout Australia about what is going on here. Get past the Get Hey, hey, don't do that to him. You never beat the trade union movement, you bastard. 